A lot of people think the only way to have a glass block window is to have it be just a functional window, you know, just maybe a wavy glass block in there that's mortared in place and, and that's that. And that's, some people, that's all they know of glass block. But what's really neat now is there's a lot more that you can do with glass block. You know, the, the standard, there's patterns that can be put in the glass block if you want higher privacy. Or if you want to create a more diffused lighting situation, frosting the glass block can create really more of a diffused but also a softer look for a room which can be very, very attractive. With frosting a block, you can create a lot more of a translucent, obscure effect. So if you had, let's say, a bathroom window or a shower window that was literally on the first floor, and you wanted to get that light in, but you wanted to have a very private situation, a frosted window can be a nice solution to that. In addition, if somebody wanted some more style, you can put color in the block, and literally there's 54 now different colors, standard colors that can be put in the block, and pretty much unlimited custom colors that can be done as well. And the way we came up with 54 standard colors, there used to be I think 33 standard colors, and the other colors came where somebody said, hey, can you match my paint chip? Can you match my fabric? And then we went to work you know, in doing that. When you take a colored block, standard color block, the color's more vibrant. But when you frost it, it becomes more muted or, or, or softer. So if you have a color palette that's maybe more of an earth tone or something where you, you want some understated elegance to the wall or the window or the bar, the frosting can sometimes do that without being overpowering. Part of our line, we have these glass murals. And literally, it could be an aquarium scene that's in the block, or it could be a palm tree, or it could be a flower. It literally could be people that are in that, or a skyline, you know, maybe a certain area that you like, or maybe it's a vacation spot you like. So once we have the design, whether it be for the window or the wall, or, or a column or a bar, or any of that, then the question is, where and how might we add color or decorative artistic elements into it? One of the things with universal design is using color for people who may have eye challenges. So you'll see in some universal designs where walls are made of different colors in a room to help somebody who's visually impaired to differentiate between one spot and another. Some people say, do you have to color the whole thing or etch the whole thing? The answer is no. You don't have to do the whole thing, but you may want to do parts of it. Again, it's just about personalizing the installation. So it's not, it doesn't have to be a generic project. It could be something that is uniquely yours. We see them being used uh, in conference room walls, dens, some campuses, basements, churches, commercial buildings, any place where you might want a little more style and a little more interest in something unique. The block can be customized into being much more than just a clear block. And a lot of people don't, don't realize with glass block that that's doable. I know, you know many people will come to our site and say, I had no idea you could do all these things with this. It doesn't have to be just a functional window or just a functional wall. It can really be an art piece. So you're really not limited except by your imagination of what can be done.